you see that scar on my wrist? That was actually from rescuing a peacock a couple of years ago. Good morning, backup dancers. So today is rescue day, but before I go rescue the peacocks, I'm coming out here to let the animals out and make sure that Dee Dee and Shishi are okay. I'm looking out here, I see Dexter. Where is Dee Dee? Let's go look. Feel right here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's a big dip. And it's, it's so, so you can tell. You definitely soft. can tell that she is dilated. Baby is in place, it's dropped. Yeah. But this right here. That's a drastic change. This drastic. Yes. <clears throat> now you can't when she's standing here, you can't really tell she's bagged up. But when she starts walking, you Oh can, yeah, there's milk in there. You can Yeah, you can see that um I wish she'd walk. Come on, girl. Hey, baby. Come on, girl. Come on, well she come on, baby. Come on, baby. With me, girl. See, when she puts her legs together, it's like you can't see it. But when she opens her legs, you can definitely tell there's a sack of milk there. Come on, girl. Oh, look how her tutu's so big. Come on. Come on, Mama. She's like, no, I ain't walking. She ain't walking. Because I want, because y'all want me to walk, therefore I'm not walking. But you can see. Oh, there she goes. There she is. Come on, girl. Come on, Dee Dee. Oh, I still rubbing things. You need to brush, but Dexter will freak out. Yeah, we can't brush, it. brush her in here. Dexter will go crazy. You need to brush. Okay, go. Walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Oh, there she goes. Oh, my goodness. See? <laughs> See the milk? <laughs> So I want to tell you a little bit about the Peacock Rescue and how it all came about. So a couple of weeks ago, I received a phone call from a lady asking me to re rescue 10 peacocks and 10 peahens. And what happened, the man that owned them passed away. He was an elderly man and he passed away. And some of the neighbors said that they would take over the peacocks because the peacocks have always been there. But it got to the point where, because they were free ranging nonstop, they were getting on cars, they're going to other neighborhoods visiting, and it just got to be not a good situation. So that's where Sneeze Farmhouse Sanctuary came into play. So she called me and asked me to help her. Well, I knew I don't have my peacock enclosure uh, in set in place yet, so I knew that I personally could not take the peacocks to my farm. So I contacted a couple of farms that I know that had been wanting peacocks and I asked them for help. Oftentimes when I rescue, it doesn't mean that I necessarily bring them to my farm. Sometimes I rescue and find homes that um, are equipped to be able to rescue a certain animal. Um, in the past, I have rescued peacocks, pigs, ducks, chickens, uh, you name it, a little bit of everything. Oftentimes, people will contact Sneed's Farmhouse and say, I need your help. Me and my husband are going through a divorce and I've got to find my pig a home. And oftentimes, I try to take the initiative to find and rescue this particular animal. And I always make sure that I find a good home for them. It warms my heart to know that uh, that my page is big enough to find good homes for other animals that need to be rescued. You know, I have 17 acres and I can't rescue every animal that I get a phone call about, but I can take the initiative to try to find them a home because I'm in contact with so many farms. So I'm able to put a post out there and say, hey guys, I'm looking for a home. And then I can interview the person or I can put the other person that's interested in the animal in contact with the owner to make sure that they're uh, gonna be equipped for a good home for the animal. 
I told you that I'm gonna take my dad with me today to rescue the peacocks. And I think it's almost like I'm rescuing him today because I think he's getting cabin fever. So I think it'll be a good time for him to get out and see all what I do when I rescue. I wanna tell you a little bit about the family that's rescuing the peacock today, the Wheelers. I've known them for a long time. She's a chicken mama just like me and has a big farm and a big property. And her father-in-law, actually lives with her just like my stepdad lives with me and her father-in-law is the one that is most excited about this peacock so i'm hoping that he travels with her to go and get this peacock so i can introduce him to you hey when we get here with the peacocks when we get here with the peacocks when i grab it i'm gonna need you to put your arms around it and hold the wings so that it doesn't fly away Okay. Can you do that? Can you do that? I'll try. And can you handle it? Uh, okay. Off to rescue some peacocks. The gang is here. We're going to all get this peacock. He's going to go in this van. They brought a pillowcase to wrap him in for his safety through the transportation. What, it takes like an hour, hour and a half to get to your house? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. And tell them who you are. I'm Mike Wheeler. You're the lucky one that's going to get to take care of this peacock, right? Yep. <laughs> all right, let's go get him. Um, now do we, we can, after we get this peacock, we can certainly try to maneuver the other ones in the barn so that we can rescue them. Hey, thing. if we get another one, well, we'll just leave. I can, I can feel case all you need. I got that. I'm trying to think logically how to do all this without scaring the peacocks. Oh, look at you and all your... So she's been luring them into the barn with oh, all is, kinds of food. No, this is light. Okay, cat food, everything. Pretty. Oh my goodness. There's three of them. Look like them. That is a black shoulder. Yeah, I hate him. <laughs> He's so beautiful. He's a fighter. All right. He flogs everything. He's reflection on. He's a Not to get attacked. I've actually shut the door all the way. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's the mirror over there. Hey, boy. I'll share the bail. Somebody else. Bless his heart. He's already got his tail messed up. I'm gonna try to get him over here. Again. Okay. We'll do the feet first. That, and folks, then... is how you get her done. That's how you get her done. <laughs> and they, when you pick them up, they instantly poop. Really? <laughs> it's what peacocks do. Buddy, you're fixing to go to Ashton's well, house. Like that, and you're going to have a great life. <laughs> you had to come see the action, did you? Right. You had to come see the action. Get the you chair. Are you bring a chair in here? Do the feet first and then the pillowcase. Uh -huh. No, I gave it to Jeff. Her husband just had it week before last. I did yeah. We take this feet for his safety I mean, and ours, but they take their feet on, first I, and then yeah. put a pillowcase over the head. Like oh I'm going to have to hold his feet. Radiation. Yeah, 
Can we help at all? Oh, that was easy. We can't do nine more before y'all leave. <laughs> that would be easy. Look, look, up under that, what you're pulling is the bottom. But they did say it's that when they took it out, they took samples of the, the... Oh, I see what you're doing. And then get the feet in the case as well, up against his body. Then you wrap the whole case. And then you wrap the whole case. Peacock and all. I got his feet, but I was scared to let go. I'm lying. All right, you got him, babe? Yeah, you got him. 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 Yeah, Will you hand me those two feathers so I can have a memento? They look like they found that they were the same one of the ones just came out. So they were a lot of things that came out of there. Yeah. Judy, she came and saved one of our peacocks. So we got how many? Like nine to go? Nine to go. Nine to go, one down. We have now, Bonda. All right. That's your mommy. <laughs> All right. That gorgeous tail. He'll feel safe fitting that. All right. Good job. All right. We're going to. We have experience herding animals. <laughs> so we're gonna go back here and try to herd some of these peacocks to see if we can get the rest of them in the barn so we can rescue some of the rest of them. So they're way over there. <laughs> Did you need me to film you, sugar? They're way over there walking away from the barn area. Do you need, hey, sugar, hey. <laughs> They're rounding them up. The guys are back there in the woods trying to round them up to get them to come way up here to the, to the barn so that I can catch, or the, catch them once they enter the barn. Let's see what happens. There's three guys over there rounding them up. See, there's another guy right here. because the peacocks are coming this way. So I'm gonna go on this side. It looks like they're trying to go to the neighbor's house. She's running after them, trying to herd them back this way. We have about, I guess about, I'd say seven people out here trying to rescue them. The lady said that usually on rainy rainy days they go into the barn well Tuesday is supposed to pour down rain so it may be that we have to wait till Tuesday to get the rest of them in um, the barn so that I can come back and rescue them on Tuesday hey buddy he's okay Get them to come back. All right, they're going towards the barn. All right, they're going towards the barn. All right. All right, they're going back towards the barn. So we got all the people out here. I hope they go back to the barn. <clears throat> Do they go in the barn? Oh, they flew up in the trees. Kind of thought that might happen. Oh, okay. oh shoot. Where are they at? Did y'all get one? Oh, good. We got one. Okay, another male. Okay. 
All right. We got one to go in here and capture it. And, whew, tough day, huh? All right, here we go. All right, do you have your... Yeah. You want another pillowcase? So y'all are going to take this one here? Bring all those cakes. Okay, stand. You would get in the one with poo. Is that? He's okay, boy. He's like poo. All right, come on, Julie. You got this. Let me give you a shovel and move that poop in the corner. No, it's all right. I'm used to poop. It doesn't bother me. There we go. Oh, shoot, I'm Perfect. That girl ain't scared. <laughs> I know. You need to get, give you a job application. <laughs> I am the people at Whisperer. All right. All right. <laughs> I'm going to tie up. Okay. He has a little bit. Security for his safety and ours. You gonna come say hey? Oh, better hold on to you. Wanna say hey? You gonna have a good life? Yes, you are. All right. All right. This is the sweet lady that contacted me. How did, I really don't know how you found me. Um, just destiny. I mean, because I, I, my husband was wanting to post them on Facebook, and I said no. I'm not gonna let that happen. I don't want it to go to somebody who doesn't know how to take care of them. And so I just researched, I Googled peacock farmers and I started listing down and I started Googling how far these people are away. And then I found you Yeah. and I was like, okay, I'm calling. And then when you, when you, I got to talk to you, I was like, this is, <laughs> this is who I'm supposed to be working with. Okay. And so you said a man owned these peacocks originally that lived in your neighborhood? Yes. John Columbus lived just a few doors down and he had peacocks and unfortunately he, he passed away suddenly. The people who came to get the peacocks weren't able to gather them all, so there were some loose. Um, and then they started just roaming the neighborhood. Two doors down from us, I have Miss Davis. She's 90 years old. She started feeding them and so and taking care of them. There was one she named George, a beautiful male. And uh, when she eats breakfast, they come up on her windowsill and watch her eat breakfast every morning. And she's, she lives by herself, so it was a lot of company. After George disappeared, we had more peacocks down the road from us. We had a different group come up and so yes, they started migrating <laughs> yes they started migrating and we all kept feeding them because we didn't want them to starve and so then right now we have 10 and um and once miss davis said okay this is too many you can you can find them homes and when i told her okay i found good homes that's when i was like okay it's 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 meant to be <laughs> right So this peacock, I ended up bringing home because the second family that's going to be rescuing him was going to meet me actually at my house. So right now, I thought I would just take this moment to give this peacock a little bit of love and let him know that he's going to be going to his forever home soon and he'll be able to meet his mom and dad. All right, there's your baby. So you've had peacocks before? So no, we haven't, but man, oh, I thought you we've said you always had. loved peacocks and just always wanted them. Like for 20, 30 years? Well, at least 20 years because, well, we remember when we lived in Ohio, man, this, at least 20 years ago, 25 maybe, the uh, neighbors across the street from her mom and dad had peacocks. Oh, and so uh -huh. it's like, we're like, oh my gosh, they're so big. Of course, they free ranged them and they just yeah. perched in the barn, the loft. They had an old barn, just so right. cool seeing them. And, well, he so, is yeah. a very chill peacock. One of the most tame famous ones I've seen. He's probably my 20th peacock rescue. Oh, wow. Yeah, I rescued a lot. Wow. And out of every one of the ones I've rescued, I've never seen one this tame. Wow. So I think he's going to be a good match for y'all. Nice. All right, he's in the front seat. <laughs> Mama and the baby are in the back seat. <laughs> okay, I'm going to... I guess that window doesn't work. Here, I'm just gonna. Here, oh, does it not? I was gonna reach the window here. If you can close, I can open. Okay. Bye. Bye, Mama. Congratulations.
congratulations. <laughs> All right. That gorgeous tail. He'll feel safe that in that. All right. Good job.